Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we are going to talk about biparent test for multiple breaks in EVUs. The test for parameter instability and structural change in regression models have been an important part of the applied econometric work dating back to Chow's test. Basically, we are using Chow's test where we are assigning only one structural break in the entire series who tested for, our, for regime change at a prior in known dates using an F statistics. They can use Chow test only when we are aware about the time period in which there is a structural break. To relax the requirement that the candidate break date be known, the quant modified the Chow framework to consider the F statistics with the largest value over all possible break dates. More recently, by in 1997 and by and parent 1998 provided the theoretical and computation results that further extend the quantum and use framework by allowing for the multiple unknown breakpoints. Basically, here even we are not aware about the dates, the test will identify where the structural break has happened in the series. How we can do this in EVUs? Let's see. For this, we will load the data set. So here GDP is there, rate of interest is there, the money supply is there. First of all, we will run the equation quick, estimate equation, GDP constant LR. We got the equation. Now, from here only, we will go and view stability diagnostics multiple breakpoint test. Keep the things as it is. We want to find out maximum breaks. Five breaks are. Click OK. And you can see that there are two breaks which has been identified by the test 1997 and 1972. So here, there is a change in the series or in other words the mean has shifted so this is a way you can identify the multiple breaks in the time series for more videos on econometrics you can subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter don't forget to press the like button